Hello everyone. So this video is for the implementation of Pulaver. That is from starting like create project. Go to next. Write project name. So this will add the right. Next. Okay, this already exists. Yeah. Next. 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 Now here you have to select part. So if we don't select part here carefully, that will be trouble while doing in output plan. So the board which I am using here, that is part. Of. So we are using this board, this part of the board. And the board which we are using here is JXC706. That is this one. Go to next. Okay, it's finished. Now go to add sources. Add create design source. So here it will be like main post, uh, main code. Create file. Let it be saved. We'll add it. Okay. Finish. Module same. Here we can define input output, or else we can directly define into code. Yeah. Here it is updating. Okay. In design sources, go to full adder, double click. So you will get an editor. We already have code. So Here model name is full adder. Okay. Here we are here passing A, B, I, C in as an input. That is one bit. Output will be sum and C out. The equation for the equation for sum is the equation for sum is A XOR B XOR C. And similarly, we have the equation for C out. That is now save this. Okay, go to add sources again. Okay. Create simulation. Here we need test benches for the creation of test benches. We are using this. Next, create file. Okay, what do we need? Next, plan, plan, team. That is test bench. Okay. Finish. Model name is save. Yes. So here it is updating. Now go to solution sources. Click. Now double click on this. Okay, here the module name is Polar TV. Okay, Polar TV. Here also we need to change. Okay, the input scene, so we don't need to pass any input output for this thing for our test benches. So here inputs are declared as registers, that is register, and outputs are declared as wires. So here inputs, it's not actually input. Here registers are A, B, C, A. See, it will be storing value of whatever we declare for some time. So that's for some length of time. And that's why it is registers. Now, okay. So we have uh, we are calling this module. Which is the original one, which is the main source for duty or device interface. Okay, now save. Okay, so after five minutes of time, A is this thing initially, A is this thing, B is this. 
A0, B0, C0, C0. So for three, we can have the combination. So I am again. If it is initial begin, then it will execute for one, and the last output will be continued. Okay, so. Yeah, here. I'm taking this one. Okay, here you see. See, input A, input B, and C carry in all are zero, that's why zero, zero. Here, carry in is one, that's why some is one. So, uh, C of is zero. Similarly, here, only one input, so that's why sum is one. Now, one by. So, sum will be zero. Carry will be one. Only one input. They may draw zero. That's why sum is one. Carry will be zero. <clears throat> when all three are one, sum is also one. Carry will be also one. Okay, this is for simulation. If you want to save this simulation, just save it. Okay, like C. Therefore, save. Okay, this is still like software implementation. I analyze it. Now, go for an elaborate art analysis. Okay, it will take some time. This is a package device. Okay. Schematics, if you want. These are the schematics. Okay, now go to I planning. I planning. Hmm. Here you can see we are using five volts. See. All are scalable. Now, at this point, you have to select some user input output on your board. So, using data sheet, we can use. So, let me show you data sheet. Okay, these are the push button for input. That is three uh, three push buttons we are having: left one, center one, right one, and the name are a name is. AK25, K15, R27, higher standard, this thing, K coming, keyboard, input, AK25, A, okay, A, K25, K15, K15. What is going on? R27. R27. So from data sheet only, you have to assign are you scanning? See, this is 25. LVC must 25, LVC must 15, LVC must 25. Come here. So this is 18. So first one is LVC must 25. This one, okay. LVC must 15, okay. LVC must 25, okay. Now for output. Outputs are elements. So come here. See, these are user elements. Okay, so I'll take left one and right one so that we can see clearly. That is Y21 and W21. I will start it, sir. I will must be 25. Okay, Y21, W21. You come to here for output. Y21, W21, 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 LVC must be five. LVC must be five. Okay, so we have done this. Run synthesis. 
Okay. First, we have to say constraints. Control S. So this is we add constraint by okay save it save that synthesis okay. it will take some time you can see it is done that's the same Okay, run implementation. So come to this left side panel. Your line bars will go will start from you write code, then go for simulation, part analysis, synthesis, implementation. So the last thing will be generating bit stream. After once you generate this uh, bit stream, we have to uh, we have to what we tell you. You have to dump this code into our hardware. Okay. okay. Okay, at this point, your board should be connected to your hardware, hardware board should be connected to your uh, CPU. It is connected to server, that is hardware. See, no device is detected. I will uh, encounter this problem by asking you to Now it is connected. Okay, not broken. So this is our board, which is now connected. Uh, XA70ZC45. Okay, okay. Yeah, program device. Okay. Program device. Okay, okay. we did not generate this too. Okay. Okay, I'm just still writing the stream. Questions okay. generated. Right click program device. Okay, program. Not just wait to go to program. Okay. 
Okay, so this is the hardware board we are using. This is power supply cable. Switch on. Now for communication with the CPU, this is the JTAG cable which is connected to your CPU. Now the error in software we were facing was no device connected. That is because of this thing. When we are using JTAG, pro JTAG protocol communication, this should be one should be on and second one should be off. Uh, one should be off, second one should be on. Zero and one. See here. Now come for this thing. These are our input. That is A, B, C, A. Here this leftmost one is our output sum and this is carry output now let us see when i am giving only so okay so this is sum this is carry out by on, when i am giving only one input sum is good see when i will give it two input at the same time sum will be zero carry in will be one oh sorry carry out will be one okay now let me give all three at one see sum is also one and carry output is also one Okay, switch off. 